Water fills a tank at a rate of 150 litres during the first hour, 350 litres during the second hour, 550 litres during the third hour, and so on. Find the number of hours necessary to fill a rectangular tank 16 by 7 by 7 metres, no, uh, given the fact that 1,000 cubic centimetres is equivalent to 1 litre. So I've summarised the question here. We've got this sequence here. We've got 150 litres poured in in the first hour, then 350 in the second hour, then 550 in the third hour, and so on. Now, we're dealing with litres, and we're told a total volume in cubic metres, aren't we, here? We need to know how many litres are in this cubic volume. So here, that's the first thing to get, the set, standardise the units. So the volume is equal to, now, 16, in cubic centimetres, we'll work this volume out, it will be 16 metres. So as a centimetre, it's 100, isn't it? 100 centimetres in a metre, so there's 1,600 centimetres there times 700 centimetres, times 700 centimetres. This is cubic centimetres. So let's tap that in the calculator. So it's 1,600 times 700 times 700. So, and then basically, we're going to divide that by 1,000 cubic centimetres to get... So I'm going to do that straight away because the numbers inordinately long. So it's 784,000. 784,000. Now what we did there was I divided it by a thousand because these were cubic centimeters and if I divide it by a thousand I'll get the number of liters because there's a thousand centimeter, cubic centimeters in one liter. So I hope you can see that and this answer then is in liters. So when does this sum, is basically what it's asking after we convert the units, and that's a units problem here, equal this amount here. So S of N then, it's, this is an arithmetic progression. So here the first term, A equals 150. And the uh, common difference, or well, each subsequent term we're adding on 200, aren't we? So there's the common difference. We don't know the number of hours and that will correspond to the number of terms, won't it? So the sum of the first, summing them all together, and some of the first n terms, the sum of these first n terms, which would take n hours, will be n over 2. 2a, the formula, plus n minus 1d, and that needs to equal 784,000. So put the numbers in then. We'll get a quadratic again, and hopefully we can solve it. So we'll get n over 2. I'll use a round bracket. 2a is 150 to 300. Plus n minus 1 times d, which is 200, equals 784000. Okay, so what have we got here then? We've got n over 2. I'm going to expand this bracket in one fell swoop. So we've got 300 take, when we expand this bracket, we'll have minus 200, so that's 100. And then we'll have plus 200 n equals 7840000. Okay, good. So that tells us then that um, now we can expand this bracket. So we'll have 50 n plus 100 uh, n squared minus, so I'm going to bring that over at the same time as expanding the bracket, equals zero. It's a quadratic, so I'm going to rewrite it as 100 n squared plus 50 n minus 784000. Divide by 50 all the way through. So let's do that then, so that we can simplify it a little bit more. Gives 2 n squared plus n minus 784,000 divided by 50 equals 15,680, 15,680, 15,680 equals naught. Now here we probably need to use the formula here um, because we want a difference of 1. But if I square root 15,680 just to have a little play around with seeing if I can do this, so that was equal to that. So if I do square root of answer, 
56 root 5, forget the decimal, 125. So I wonder if uh, 124 divides in it, into it. Let's have a look. 15, 6, 8, 0 divided by 124. No. But basically, I think I'm going to be looking. So we'll need to use the formula here to solve this quadratic, to cut a long story short. So what we do is we circle this. This is A. Circle the number of ends. This is B. There's one there and circle this and this is the C and we can use the formula so here n is equal to then without further ado minus uh, b as 1 there so it's minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is 1 5 6 8 0 oh, with a minus so that makes that a plus all over 2 lots of a and a is 2, so 2 lots of 2 is 4. So we get then minus 1 plus or minus. Now what does this square root work out to? 15688 eight times 15680 oh plus 1. So I'll do it straight away. 8 times 15680 oh plus 1. 1 squared is still 1. Equals that. And then that's the answer. So square root the answer then. 354.176 3dp 354.1765 354.1765 over 4 okay so um, it's a funny answer that isn't it Okay, over four. You would have thought it would go into a whole number of hours. Right, so clearly the negative answer here won't make any sense, friend, will it? We want the positive answer here. So let's have a look at that. So it's this number then, which is still in the calculator, nice and accurate. The plus part, take away one, so minus one equals, and then divide that by four equals 88.29 hours it will be, won't it? So let's write that down. So that's equal to then 88.29 dot 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 hours which is equal to approximately 88 hours, just over 88 hours.